I got a question this week about recommended sources for keeping track of the Samurai Japan WBC warm-up games. So, let's take a look at what's available and see some highlights from the first game that was held this afternoon. The first and foremost place to look would be the official World Baseball Classic Japan website at worldbaseballclassic.jp. Yes, this site is in Japanese with an emphasis on the Samurai Japan team. Going to the worldbaseballclassic.com link on the right-hand side will bring up English and Spanish options, but those also bring up content mainly focused on North and South America. So, for the kanji impaired, the tabs along the top of the page are for Tournament Overview, Tickets, Schedules and Venues, Teams, News, Photos, Videos, History, Warm-Up Games, Shop, and the English-Spanish Sites. Warm-up rounds will be held from February 23rd through the 27th at Osaka Dome, then on February 28th and March 1st at Fukuoka Dome. Japan will play against the Australian team on the 23rd and 24th, with Oryx and Hanshin dividing their time between Brazil, Japan, China, and Cuba over the following two days in Osaka. SoftBank and the Giants will split the two days against the four WBC teams in Fukuoka. But what you're probably most interested in are the videos. There are only two there right now, one with Yamamoto Kantoku announcing the Samurai Japan members, the other an announcement of player numbers with some inspiring words from four of the Giants' representatives. I hope that they're going to put some field action on here soon. For live games, as I've been suggesting over the past several years, nothing beats Justin.tv. J-U-S-T-I-N dot T-V. But finding the game is sometimes difficult. The general procedure is, when a game is on, of course, first, select categories. Second, select sports. Third, set the language to all languages. Now, this is really the key, because a lot of times if you just select English, well, of course, the Japanese games aren't going to come up, but selecting Japanese also will not necessarily get several of the games to come up. Um, and this goes along for the um, normal season as well. So next, scroll down until you find the game that you're looking for. This works on both the desktop and on mobile devices. The only difference between the mobile apps and the um, desktop version that I'm aware of is that the desktop version is not free. That is, you have to pay a subscription fee for the desktop version. Of course, with the mobile versions, your carrier's bandwidth caps and such may apply. Another potential place to watch the games, but I'm not really sure if it will come into play or not, is J Sports. While I was watching the game this afternoon, J Sports had a house ad for their new web video services. The URL is jsports dot co dot jp slash movie slash baseball the latest short video clips that they have there is a series of interviews with bobby valentine talking about the wbc and several of the japanese mlbers the other content appears to be various j sports produced shows not games themselves the ad said that the service is free through the end of the month of february I'd still like to know if they are going to have games there starting in March, though. So that's certainly a place that I'd like to keep track of. Finally, here's a quick rundown on what happened this afternoon in the Carp vs. Samurai game. 
Makun Tanaka Masahito started the game for Samurai Japan. After two outs, Brad Eldred drove in the first run with a ball off the fence to right center field. Matsuyama, batting fifth in the lineup for the Carp, drove Eldred in from second with a base hit up the middle. So the Carp take a two to nothing lead in the first inning. Both batters hit early in the count. Maeda Kinta, taking off his Samurai uniform to throw for Hiroshima, started for the Carp. He hit a batter in the first, but got number four batting Samurai Abe to go down swinging to retire the side. Maeda threw two scoreless innings. Hanshin's Nomi threw for Team Japan in the third inning and was perhaps the biggest highlight of the day for Samurai Japan, striking out two of the three batters he faced. Chunichi's Yamai Daisuke threw the top of the sixth inning and got hit all over the place. In all, he allowed two runs in his one inning of work. After loading the bases, still in the sixth inning, Maeda managed to get a double play to retire the side. Otherwise, at the end of six, it could have been a lot worse than four to nothing. The Giants Sugiuchi Toshia shut down the carp one, two, three on three fly balls in the seventh inning. The Giants Utsumi was moving along in the top of the eighth inning just fine with two outs before Kazuo Matsui committed an error at short and a base hit led to Carp outfielder Suzuki Masamitsu hitting a three-run home run to left pretty much putting the game away at seven to nothing. As for Samurai Japan, they were shut out on just three hits, no walks, or no hits rather, from the fourth inning onward. Hiroshima handily defeated the Samurai Japan seven to nothing. So, after all the hype of having the WBC team practice together the past two days, Samurai Japan is off to a bit of a rocky start, but they do still have a couple of weeks to get things together before the first round of the WBC begins. And now it's time to pull out the pocket calendar. Looking at the calendar this week, John will be interviewing former Nippon Ham manager Trey Hillman in the upcoming episode of Japan Baseball Weekly, on February 25th. Otherwise, spring camps will continue with their scrimmage and inter-squad practice games, as well as practice games between Japanese and Korean teams in the Southern Islands for the next week. And that wraps up this week's Pro Yaki Report. Take care.